This video is going to show you how to make your own flower stick. Now, Paul here is playing with the actual toy. Um, and as you can see, you can practice and learn how to do all sorts of tricks. It's a fun toy, um, but it can be a little expensive. So we're going to show you how to make it with a trip to your hardware store and some tools that you probably have in your house. Yeah, right. So there's lots of different ways you can make this, and we're just going to show you a couple of different examples. And the most basic one is uh, by just basically taking a dowel, about a three-quarter inch diameter dowel, at about 24 inches, and getting two tennis balls. And with a sharp knife and parental supervision, if you're a child, uh, put a little slit on uh, one side of each ball. And then push that onto the end, and then use a screw, a wood screw, to uh, screw into the end and into the dowel to secure that right there. That's and pretty that's, easy. Yeah, and that's going to be your basic uh, flower stick. And what yeah, do you we, have here? Yeah, oh, well, so we wrapped the dowel around with um, a sports tape or athletic tape, yeah. and that gives it just a little bit more friction so it slides a little bit less. Right, right. Yeah, okay. and then for the hand sticks, uh, you manipulate that with the hand sticks, and for this we used uh, two 5 8 inch dowels, and these are about two feet in length as well, and uh, I uh, wrap these as well in uh, athletic tape to make them a little bit less slick. Whoa. Yeah, and you'll find this, this rolls, and it's going to be a fast playing stick. It's actually going to be playing a little bit more like the devil stick. That is, is fast. Yeah, which is a little bit different than a flower stick. Um, now, another version is uh, this one right here, and if you pick that up, we can take a look at it, and uh, we'll show you how we made this. So we took about, yeah. If, I, th if you notice, on the ends, there's tassels here, and that actually helps to slow it down, so it plays a little bit slower than what I was just playing with. Um, so we're going to show you a way to kind of add those tassels. Yeah, yeah. So this is a vinyl. You can get this at a fabric store, and it's about two feet of vinyl and uh, two feet by four inches. And what you do is every uh, half inch or so, you take a pencil and a, a ruler, and you just make a mark. And then you take some good strong scissors and you cut about three quarters of the way uh, to the end. So you have one long strip of these like little, little tassels. Huh. And then you attach one end to the dowel. Now you can use a, a couple of short wood screws. Um, you could use a staple gun. You could even use some double-sided tape just to get it started um, and held there. And then, uh, yeah, as you're doing, you start to roll that stick and you want to keep, make sure you keep the material nice and taut uh, as you roll it, as well as flat. So the, the inside... It's kind of like rolling up a sleeping bag, like how it can get off, off yeah. center really quickly and really easily. So you got to keep, keep uh, paying attention to the right. roll. Right. When you're rolling this, think of your sleeping bag. Very good. <laughs> very good. And then when you get to the end... Um, all you want there. Yeah. <laughs> all you want to do is you want to get some tape, maybe some duct tape or electrical tape, and wrap it around, uh, following the direction of the wrap, nice and tightly, uh, three or four or five times. I'd imagine just around the base, because you don't want to get in the way of. Right, right, the... right. Of course. And there you go. Yeah, you get a little little flower up there. And then. Uh, now it looks like you did something different with the athletic tape here. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to create a little bit more uh, texture. And so, what I did with the athletic tape is I took a long length of it and I kind of rolled it between my hands to make sort huh. of a rope. And uh, starting on one end, I sort of attached it to the dowel and then made that rope and I wrapped it around the dowel going down to give it some contour. And then when I got to the bottom, I lengthened out the rope or this tape again, and then I started spiral wrapping it in the opposite direction. And as you can see, I get these great ridges. Yeah. Um, so when you're playing it, you get really good uh, traction. All right. Well, yeah. looks easy enough. Happy playing with your flower sticks.